lot of us have been indulging in sweet treats and comfort food over the holidays, and the results might not only be showing up on your waistline, but right here on your skin. I have one right here. <laughs> Joining us with tips on how we can use leftovers to make affordable at-home skin treatment is cosmetic dermatologist and author of Feed Your Face, Dr. Jessica Wu. Uh, good morning to you. I, I, they're doing this segment, I think, just for me, because they saw my little friend that showed up this morning right here under my lip. That is oh, based on go. what Holiday you... Acne. This, is, this is the <laughs> chocolate. This is the chocolate candy, right? Yes, that's right. It's a souvenir. It's a souvenir. So let's talk about what the problems are that people are seeing over the holidays right now. Yeah, well, the problem is that it was a delicious problem. It's because during the holidays, we're all looking forward to eating and drinking those delicious foods and drinks that we look forward to eating all year long, your pies, your potatoes, your cookies, but those are high in sugar and sugar causes inflammation in the skin, which can make you break out, as you've seen, and it can also worsen rashes. Now, the good news is that instead of eating those leftovers, you can use them to make at-home treatments that are all natural that will help your skin look better. I love this idea. So let's talk about your DIY skin treatments. What are the holiday leftovers that we can use? Tell us specifically about apples and vinegar. Yeah, so if you've got a breakout, I would suggest using apple cider vinegar as a toner. Apple cider vinegar has natural astringent properties. It's great for oily skin and breakouts. It's got malic acid, which is found in apples. It's a natural, gentle alpha hydroxy acid. You could also whip up a sweet potato brown sugar scrub as well and use that wherever you're broken out. Okay, let's talk about uh, a, an at-home treatment to revive dull, dry skin. And we can do this any time of the year. Oh, that's right, especially living here in Southern California, it's always so dry. So you've got dull skin in the winter because your skin cells don't turn over as quickly. So I suggest whipping up a carrot honey face mask. What you do is you puree some carrots, at about a quarter cup, add a teaspoon of honey. Carrots are high in beta carotene. Beta carotene is converted into retinol. The same ingredient that you find in those anti-aging products at the store, you can make your own puree some carrots, add some honey, use that as a face mask, leave it on about 15 minutes. It'll make your skin soft and smooth and help fight that dullness and dryness. Interesting, I've never heard of that. All right, let's talk about tired eyes. Any of us who work on the morning show uh, know that we do have tired eyes and you have a <laughs> DIY recipe for that too. Yes, I do. The holidays can certainly make your eyes look tired. It can accentuate those little fine lines, those crow's feet. And uh, what I recommend for that area is to make a cranberry sauce almond oil eye mask. And cranberries are wonderful for the delicate eye area because cranberries are high in vitamin C and copper, and those are what we call cofactors that help to build strong collagen for that delicate eye area. And almond oil is a wonderful emollient. Mix about a tablespoon of cranberry sauce with 15 drops of almond oil. Almond oil is lighter than olive oil and coconut oil, so less likely to make you break out. Okay, so I see you have the uh, New Year's uh, 2022 arrangements there. We're looking forward to New Year's Eve. What's a skin-friendly anti-aging cocktail uh, that we can start thinking about? Well, if you're having a small gathering at home, I suggest avoiding sugary mixed drinks and instead whip up a raspberry champagne cocktail. See how pretty it is? It's so pretty. <laughs> what you do is you take either fresh or frozen raspberries, uh, maybe about a cup of them, sprinkle a tiny bit of sugar on top to release the juices. And when your guests come over, drop a few of those on the bottom of your glass. You can either fill with champagne or sparkling water, float a couple of them on top, and that way you have a skin-friendly drink because raspberries are high in something called ellagic acid. It's a very potent antioxidant that's been shown to actually help help with fine lines and wrinkles. And when you're choosing raspberries at the store, get the freshest ones because they're the highest in antioxidants. Fantastic. Great advice. We love it. Happy New Year to you. For more information on cosmetic dermatologist Dr. Jessica Wu and her book, Feed Your Face, you can go to drjessicawu.com or follow her on social media. Thanks again so much for joining us. All right, don't go away.